Hey guys, I didn't think it was possible, but I do highly believe now in English gematria. And this is the cipher we're going to use by Marty Leeds. He has an incredible YouTube channel. Check him out, Marty Leeds 33. I favorited a lot of his videos, so go check that out. Um, but he uses this gematria A through G is 1 through 7, then go back down 6 through 1. And then N to T is 1 through 7, then go back down to Z is 1. This represents the six days of creation, and then God rested on the seventh day, and then go back down uh, like the six days of creation after that again. So the highest numeral is seven, the lowest is one. Let's take a look at some of these um, calculations. Jesus is 27, and Christ is 32. Multiply that, you get 864. And the diameter of the sun is actually 864,000 miles. So its radius is actually 432, but we'll get into that in a second. Jesus is 27, Christ is 32 once again. Now spell out 27, it's 48. Spell out 32, it's 45. You get 2160, which is the exact amount of day, of years in a um, uh, procession of the equinox in the age of Pisces, age of Aquarius. Horus happens to be 2160 when you multiply its numbers. And also Yeshua, which is Jesus in Hebrew. Okay, this is, it's, it'll add up, okay? It won't be a coincidence after you watch everything, especially all his videos. Christ is 365, 567. There's 365 days in a year. Uh, there's 12 ages, and he was age 12. Um, and then 18 years were missing, and then he started his ministry at 30. So 12 and 30, and then each zodiacal sign makes up 30 degrees. And there's 12 of them. Um, you also get 5 plus 6 plus 7. The remainder is 18. Sorry, and that, that's where we get the 18 from, the 5 plus 6 plus, plus 7. Um, 32 degrees represents the 32, um, the 33rd degree Mason. This isn't 32 degrees. That We'll explain this in a second also. But it's like the 33 and 32 degree Mason. <clears throat> Jesus, you multiply its numbers, it's 4320, 432. Uh, the sun's radius is 432,000 miles. And you know how music um, is all in 441 hertz right now? 432 is the original law of nature. <clears throat> you, throw some, you throw some sand on a, a, vibra uh, a, like a vibrating sound wave plate, and only the 432 frequencies... Um, will create amazing shapes. 441 could just creates a bunch of mishmash. 432 is the law of nature. And of course, the Great Pyramid is a scale model, uh, model of one hemisphere of the Earth at a ratio of 1 <clears throat> to 43,200. All right, you get Jesus, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. Um, 4 plus 5 plus 6 is 15. And then add that 15 again, and you get 6. Um, and then 7 plus 8 plus 9 is 24, and add that again and get 6. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, and you add up the three rows, and it equals 45. So the first three rows, 1 through 9, in a row of 9, 3 by 3, equals 45 by its columns or rows, I think. And then you add on its, add, uh, its actual additional values for the last two, and you get 666. The rest of his name is just, it's just a, one big code. Jesus equals 27, Lamb of God, light, the chi, the chi rho, that also equals 27, okay? And this looks, yud hey vav hey. actually these hey's looks look like pi, you know, looks like pi 7, pi 7. Um, and Adonai, yud hey vav hey actually equals 26, just like in English gematria, Lord God equals 26. This is crazy. And then if you put um, if you put our our cipher on a menorah, and you get all of the um, n prime numbers, um, let's see, yeah. you just put it in the center there, and you get twenty two. Anyway, you spell out twenty two, or you spell out the word seven, and it equals twenty two. What's twenty two divided by seven? Pi. All right. Let's not do that. Anyway, this guy has some really amazing um, theories, like the origin of sin. Original sin is the origin of sign. 
the sine looks sine waves, cosine and all that in math, it looks like a serpent. And it's that's the serpent, you know, in the middle of the circle. Okay? Um, it's just kind of a, a crazy code he found out. Um, and he incorporates the Zodiac, incorporates a lot of stuff. But he hasn't talked about the New World Order and, you know, everything that the Groxt has. But all that's true, too. This is just kind of getting deeper and deeper. If you add up Aquarius, it's 34. And if you add up Astrology, it's 34. And what is 34? One of the um, Fibonacci numbers right here. Okay. Um, interesting no thing about the number 88. How many keys are on a piano? 88. How many phalanges on both of your hands? Um, 13 on each. So, I mean, uh, 14 on each. So that's 28 total. What's 88? And what do you, what do you play a piano with? Your hands. 88 time divided by, uh, 88 divided by 28, sorry, is 3.142. Okay. And that's why it's called a, pa a piano. In Greek, pi is pronounced P. Okay. It's a piano because the number of keys divided by the 28 phal phalanges of your fingers playing it equals pi. So it's literally the keys, you know, the, the music of the spheres. Math is music, okay? It's crazy. All right, add up, add up the uh, a multiply Aquarius. One times four times six times one times five times five uh, times six times six. It's 21,600. There's 60 minutes in an hour and 360 uh, minutes 360 in, in an arc in a sphere is 360 so that's how um actual travelers in the ocean use the stars by the arc and procession of the equinox and it's all happening in the age of aquarius when we're supposed to find out this knowledge okay anyway this guy is incredible um check him out marty leads uh you have you add up all the values of the solar system in this new cipher that I found you get 234 234 divided by its reverse 432 or multiplied or added I'm sorry is 666 and where do we get 666 from Revelation 13 18 multiply 13 times 18 it's 234 everything is hiding everything else it's all one big system the solar system okay this is the mathematical system here's the piano thing right here it's insane. Lastly, Christ, multiply it all. It's 18,900. That's not impressive, but get the square root. It's 137. The Freemason uh, compass is 47 degrees, and then you have the right angle below it. That's 137 degrees also. 137 is one of the most mathematically resonant numbers in all of nature. In phylotaxis, nature, the leaves, the branches grow apart at 137.5 degrees apart. Okay? And 137 also has to do with the amount of photons emitted during huge uh, electron... Uh, I, I can't... I, it's way above my head, y'all, but God is above my head. The science is not above our heads, though. We just need to study. This is the English Gematria code. This is it. English is not a joke to me now, okay? English translations of the Greek can be, but it's there's still something there now, okay? Thanks, thanks, guys. It's all just, it's all coming to fruition right before it all ends, and we don't have a chance anymore for anything. It's a crazy situation we're in.